Machine Installation and Machine Operation Methods After Unpacking First, loosen the screws on the back of the machine you need to install the brackets on both sides of the machine. Wipe away dust and oil stains from the connections. Make metals bond tightly. Note the two positional fixers. They need to be in this position and cannot be removed. Use lifting equipment to lift the bracket. Align slot position. Install set screws. There are two screws that will be blocked by the case. Remove the case and secure the two screws with a short hex wrench. You can cut the wrench that came with the machine shorter. Take care of track connections. Don't be in a high and low or left and right uneven positions. Tighten all screws. After fixing all the screws, restore the position of the small bracket.
confirm the location of the machine. It is best to use six pieces of 3 to 5 mm thick metal plates placed under each foot of the machine. Or you can use other materials to pad under the machine feet. You can use an infrared level or a spirit level. Keep the machine level by adjusting the screws on the machine feet. Install the bracket for the trunking. Remove the stop that prevents the machine from moving. There are about five or six of them. There are four on either side of the y-axis, one or two on the x-axis. Clean dust and debris from the tracks be careful not to have screws or metal pieces in the track position. Fix the dust cover on the machine track. Add 42 number, 46 number, 68 number anti-wear hydraulic oil to the oil tank on the side of the machine. Add to the highest position displayed on the fuel gauge. Add it to the lubricating oil tank behind the machine. The lubricating oil used in the car or 32 number, 42 number, 46 number, 68 number guide rail oil or anti-wear hydraulic oil. Connect the water pipes to the machine. Cool the saw and stone while cutting. Connect 6-8 bar compressed air to the machine. 90-115 psi gas pressure. Prepare a power box separately for the machine. The switch used requires 100 amps. Use 8-10 mm 2 diameter wires.
Access the interior through the hole in the back of the control box. Connect to the switch inside the machine. After the connection is complete, use a multimeter to measure the voltage. The voltage between L1 and N is 220-240V. The voltage between L1 and L2 or L3 is 380V400V. Turn the E-stop key. Press the power switch and the small computer switch below. If the machine does not start, you can swap the wires between L1 and L2 one place. The machine has a phase protector. The wires are not connected properly and the machine will not start. Click QCUT2 in the computer to start the control software. After the software starts, operate the switch on the console to check whether the machine moves normally. The X-axis moves left and right. The Y-axis moves forward and backward. The Z-axis moves up and down. Install the camera stand. Remove the front machine cover. If you received the machine these enclosures are not installed. Then omit this step. Turn on the camera switch. Adjust to no flash mode. Check where the camera signal cable is connected. If the position is too tight, the photo cannot be taken. After fixing, connect the camera's power cable and image transfer cable. In the control system, Follow the 1234 sequence. The machine will automatically move to a fixed position for taking pictures. Remove the camera protective cover. Look inside the camera to find the correct focus position. Let the camera take a clear picture of the table.
After viewing in camera position, take a photo in this order in the software. Check that the captured photos are clear. If it is not clear, the correct focus of the camera needs to be readjusted. After finding the correct focal point, the switch on the lens is adjusted from AF to MF. Then use tape to secure the lens. Ensure that the lens will not move when the machine is working, and will not deviate from the correct focus position. After fixing the focal length of the lens, restore the camera cover and protective cover on the machine. Remove the saw guard. Measure the specific size of the saw. Enter the measured diameter of the saw blade into the control software. Use the hand wheel. Slowly lower the Z-axis. Let the saw blade move to the surface of the quartz stone. Set the coordinates of the Z-axis. Read the coordinates of the current Z-axis in order. Put together a quartz stone on the table. Click the camera to take a picture of the table. Because the camera is reinstalled, all photo positions and cutting positions will have a little deviation. Measure the thickness of the quartz stone. Enter thickness. After clicking OK, the machine will move to the location where the photo will be taken. Take a photo of the desktop. Click line group on the left. Move to the photo, double click the left mouse button. Edit cut method. Move the cutting position to the edge position of the stone material. Calculate the path. Start cutting. In the cutting process, 
press the reset button. What is the distance between the actual cutting position and the cutting position set on the screen using the dimension sub? Input the measured data to the controller. Follow this. Enter the size of the deviation into the controller. Then take pictures again, cut. Check again whether there is any deviation between the position of taking pictures and the position of cutting. I need to check both the front and rear directions and the left and right directions. <laughs>